Part 5 of the Nanoloop 2.3 tutorial. We are going to look at some of the um, icons on the second menu. So if you press select twice, you'll get to your second menu. We're going to look at the third, fourth, and fifth ones. For We haven't really looked at the second one yet, but we will get to that eventually. Um, to, do, to understand what these um, icons do, we need a few notes set. So just drop down a couple of notes. Um, we're actually going to change these notes ever so slightly, so just pitch each one up just a little bit um, for reasons that will become apparent very shortly. Press select twice, go to this second, third icon, sorry. If you hold down B and press left, you can hear that when the um, pattern gets to the end, it reverses and then goes backwards. This is called ping pong playback. If you hold down B and press right, that stops ping pong playback. So, ping pong. No ping pong. Um, another kind of cool thing you can do on this icon, if you press start, it plays randomly. Um, not much use on a pattern like this, but if you've got um, percussion or something like that, it could give you a few kind of groovy effects. Um, we're going to look at the third icon now, but I just need to change these notes a little bit to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to set these all back to more or less the same. Um, press select again. Now let's, uh, so move to your uh, far right icon that does the delay. Oh, sorry, we're still on um, random, that's why it's going all peculiar. <laughs> right, let's turn it off. Oh, sorry. Right, there we go, we're off random now. Sorry, that's back to what it should be. So press select, go to the far right icon on the first menu, which is delay. Press select again, press left once. Um, this is a icon that does two or three different things. The first thing that we're going to look at is uh, pattern shifting. So if you hold down B, press left and right, you can shift the whole pattern backwards and forwards, which is kind of groovy. Um, if you press select again, press right once, go to delay, um, sorry, press select, hold down uh, A, and press up to put a delay on some of the notes things actually change here slightly with this fourth icon. Press select again, go back to the fourth icon. If you hold down B, you copy the, um, you shift the pattern, but you preserve the delay. If you hold down A, you shift the pattern without preserving the delay. Um, this actually gets a little bit confusing if you've got lots and lots of notes with lots of different types of delay with lots of different levels of delay. Nano loop seems to forget the delay occasionally, but basically hold down B, it moves the delay with the note. Hold down A, it doesn't. Okay. Um, this icon does a couple of other interesting things. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna go to the noise channel very quickly. Oh, sorry, I just dropped the camera there. Just going to go to the noise channel very quickly. Um, I'll turn that delay off because that sounds hardly out of time. Oh dear. Sounds like I've still got a delay on there somewhere. Okay, so um, one other thing that you can do on this channel is if you hold down... Oh, sorry, on this channel, good luck. One other thing you can do on this icon, if you hold down B and press down, you can actually reduce the length of the pattern to create kind of um, shorter patterns for interesting grooves. But you can probably see this doesn't affect the other pattern that we've got running. 
um, it only affects our reduced pattern. So if you go back to the icon again, hold down B, you can actually reduce this all the way to one note if you want to. Hold down up, you bring everything back again. Um, right, the last thing that this pattern can, sorry, that this icon can do, you can actually copy whole patterns. So what I'm going to do for now is just get rid of the sounds on the noise channel. So if we move to this fourth icon, you can actually copy the whole pattern by pressing start. You can see the little icon appears in the top top left hand corner. Let's move to the noise, uh, let's move to the L channel. If you press B and A at the same time, when you're on the right icon. <laughs> huh. Okay, let's try that one more time. So press start. Um, move to the L channel, and then you can paste the pattern down. Um, so you can hear that we've got both things happening in the same channel, so it doesn't really change that much, but it's kind of useful. Um, you can actually paste things into completely different patterns um, on different channels if you should so wish to. So let's uh, copy the R channel and paste it into the noise channel. Um, not really very useful in this particular case, but could be kind of handy. Um, the last one that we're going to look at is uh, Tempo, which is the far right icon. Um, this one's really pretty straightforward. If you hold down B, press right, you can see in the top right hand corner things are in the number's increasing, this means your BPM is increasing, so things are going faster. Hold down B and press left. Things slow down a lot. So, um, that's kind of useful. Um, just move back to the R channel quickly. It seems just slightly odd here. an extra note in here somewhere. Ah, yes, sorry, I've got an extra note. Right, that's why things are peculiar. Right, I now understand what's happening. Right, um, if you go back to tempo, you can see in the top left-hand corner that we're currently running at 102. Let's speed that up just a little bit. Um, you can hear the kind of um, bass note and the kicky drum sound and the um, sort of slightly kicky noise channel thing happening at the same time. If you hold down B and press down, you can probably see a little 2 in the top right hand corner. This means that the R channel is now running at one half of the global speed. Um, that'll slow it down to a fourth if you press B and down once more. Press it uh, a final time and it'll slow it down to an eighth of the global speed. Global BPM I should probably say. Which again can be useful for creating kind of interesting rhythms. Um, that is about it for the third, fourth and fifth icons. We've still got the song editor to look at which we're going to do slightly later. Um, this was a kind of everything that doesn't fit neatly into another tutorial tutorial so might have been lacking a little bit of context but um, it's finished. For this um, video, I have another recommended tune by Zabutom, which I hope you enjoy. We're going to look at FM next.